Today I'm talking about Severed by Scott Snyder, Scott Tuft, and Attila Futaki. I feel that there's a lot of stuff they say about horror on the front of the book, and that is a lot in the eye of the beholder. Um, horror movies really aren't scary to me, and neither are horror comic books or horror, horror books. And honestly, I don't actually like the genre, genre a whole lot. I do like the Lovecraftian stories. Um, but so as far as whether you're, you enjoy a horror book, and I can't help you with that. And I can't tell you whether this is a good horror book. What I can tell you is it is a, is a good story, and I did greatly enjoy it. Don't let the kind of the plain what seems like artwork and because I guess with uh, I'm some in some ways a lot of us are used to with comic books having lots more a lot more color a lot more superhero type stuff in the, in it and certainly I read comics that aren't necessarily superhero stuff but just used to a lot more color necessarily and when I was flipping through the book at first I thought eh, it looks kind of bland but I thought eh, I'll give it a try I'll just take it home I, I certainly am glad I, that I did because it is a very interesting story very riveting it's a complete story in one tale everything is pretty much answered and taken care of no cliffhangers or volume two really needed and we follow a boy who up until very recently believed that the woman he was living with was his birth mother but it turns out he was adopted by her and he goes off in search of his biological father he's also a musician and as we follow him attempting to hobo his way, I think it's like a story set in the 1920s, across the U.S. to find his father. You know, lots of stuff obviously happens. And some good stuff, too, along the way. And some very sad things. He uh, meets a, a boy, a fellow boy that's on the train that he's trying to hitchhike on. And that helps him out. And later turns out that, well, she's actually a girl, but she's just pretending to be a, a boy, obviously, so it gets a little less hassled. But they do seem to fall in love and they really trust each other. However, they also meet up with another stranger who seems nice and interested in helping them. Mainly the main goal is to get to his father. But he's very malevolent and we see more about him, of course, that they don't, that we know that he's up to no good. And... And it makes it pretty plain in the book, you know, that this is a serial killer, cannibal serial killer. But it also hints that there may be something a little bit more uh, supernatural to the person. No superpowers or, you know, seen at night or flying in the dark or superhuman strength or anything like that. Just that perhaps evil isn't that easy to kill or to get rid of completely. And like I said, it's a good story. Um, we even get to see jack as an adult as a grandfather the story starts actually with that and then also ends with that and we see in between his tale as a young boy and i think it does have a lot of good elements to it. it also shows you about youthfulness and its you know impulsivity that can lead to rash bad decisions poor th poor thought like he you know jack initially thinks that his birth mother you know purposely deceived him and that she's doesn't love him and doesn't care about him which is shown throughout the book to be the complete opposite actually and she probably loves him more than like his own mother and father would have in some ways and um, it also shows about you know kind of jack has to man up so to speak like he's got to stop being a boy quit being a whiner because he kind of gets picked on a little bit in the first parts of the book like he seems kind of like a wimp and you know to confront this evil that has actually injured him in the course of the book done permanent damage to him to fight it at one point he can leave it but he actually goes back to finish it off and of course uh, it's very brave showing the difference the character that he's showing after having gone through this of course, it wouldn't, I guess the actual horror and almost the Lovecraftian element to the book is that it appears that perhaps that person, that serial killer cannibal, might still be alive, even though the situations that he was left under, he was pretty dead. And I think that's kind of a 
just a general lesson overall that even if you defeat the immediate evil, it will always come back and in some ways haunt you as it did Jack. Because Jack isn't shown to be like gone through the process and become a completely good, normal person either. I mean, he's still a person. Like, for example, the injury that he sustained, the permanent injury from the serial killer, he lies about how he received it. Even in his old age, he still lies about it. And, you know, it kind of shows that even though, you know, I'm not going to say whether that's necessarily right or wrong or that big of a thing, but he was still, you know, scarred by that in a way. And perhaps he was toughened up and did learn some things about it, but he also was damaged by it, which is a good story for life in general. You know, you can't get through life undamaged. It's impossible. Even if you don't sustain a physical injury, you will certainly res res sustain a spiritual or mental injury, perhaps, if you want to think of it like that. It's also curious because I almost wanted to know a little bit more about older Jack, about a couple of his decisions, because he is a musician, and the injury that he sustains from the killer um, probably prevented that, but maybe it didn't. That's what I was curious about. I was wondering, curious, like, did he still pursue that? Because he was really seriously wanted to be a musician, and most people seem to agree he had talent. He had some real talent, and that's part of the reason why the serial killer picked him was to consume that talent. Obviously, it's very, in a way, nihilistic to see something that's so good and that has so much potential and to purposely damage it and hurt it so that no one, not even not the person also who has that talent, but even all around who could benefit, because everyone enjoys music, um, to injure everyone in a way. So Severed is an excellent book. Highly recommend it. I don't know if it's a book that you necessarily need to buy. I, like, I usually get my comics nowadays from the library. Um, it has a list price of $24.99. Um, up to you whether you think you want to add that to your collection or not, but it's definitely worth a read however you get around to it. If you have any questions, just list them below.